Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Behind me, there is that massive drop that one of my friends built. It's about 25 feet of vertical drop, but the landing gets really steep and there's a ton of tree. So it's definitely really gnarly and he would like me to uh, guinea pig it. So hopefully I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna walk you through uh, the process of hitting a big drop for the first time. So it's gonna be really interesting. Oh, it's pretty big. There's so many trees at the bottom. That's, that's where the biggest difficulty is for me is you know to make sure everything is gonna go smooth because I don't want to hit one of those trees at you know whatever speed I'm gonna go. Well because I didn't try my downhill bike in nine months I'm definitely not gonna start on this uh, on this drop but there is like a, a line and same my buddy didn't do it but you can come down on the side here and jump. Um, it's a bit of a technical entrance but it's definitely smaller and that's gonna give me the experience I need to make sure that the bike is dialed and that the landing is steep enough and that the burnout like works fine. How big is this guy? Uh, probably like 12, 15 feet. But it's a nice, like it's set up pretty nice. So there's like uh, some steps and you only have like not even a bike length to take off. So this part is a bit like technical, uh, but the drop itself line up pretty good. You, you kind of have to dip a bit left, uh, but because it's a smaller jump, it's, it's not bad. Okay. Ah, the speed is gonna be an issue. Uh, first impressions, when the drop went pretty good, uh, it's definitely super sketchy to come in. It's technical, uh, you have to make that corner and but the, the dirt on the landing is good. The landing was actually really smooth. Uh, the big issue I have is that after the actual landing, the run out is super steep and I was not able to really slow down. I mean, I was completely fine on this drop, but to do the big one behind, that's gonna be way bigger, way faster. It's gonna be a challenge. And part of it, because my bike is so stiff, to be able to take that impact and there's so much compression that I sacrifice um, the traction. And so it was difficult to slow down. I mean, I, I knew that the run out and the speed was gonna be the main issue, um, but I thought it would be a bit easier than that, to be honest. That was definitely better. I lowered a bit the tire pressure so I could get a bit more deformation and more, more grip. I also removed some low speed compression on the shock so the bike can sit a little bit more on the travel once I land. I still have a lot of high speed but I have less low speed. So that way I can gain a bit of traction because the bike sits a bit more on the travel. And yeah, I felt I felt really controlled. I started to brake purposely super late uh, just to simulate like more speed. Hopefully we move on to the big one. Come here. I'm gonna do a run in. I just don't want to go too fast and I don't want to case either. So. I'm adding a bit of uh, high speed compression just in case. You guys good? Ready. Get drop in. Okay. Three, two, one, drop in.
I came in a bit slow, I was so scared to overshoot and to not be able to slow down. Took it a bit slower and I, I just tapped my rear wheel maybe like one inch short. But I was still really smooth. I'm happy with the settings I had on the bike. I had a progressive spring, much heavier than usually. That's a race on his spring, 500 to 575 pounds, when I normally ride like a 450 or 500 spring. Let's do it again and cleaner. A little too far that time, bud. But ideally, I want to land here. This has the steepest landing, best run out. It's harder to get from the top to land here. So I'm just gonna kind of pack a little bit. And we're gonna go again. Woo! Wow, damn. Ah, it's good. I feel really confident and I feel comfortable. And uh, yeah, I'm having a good time. Great success. Yeah, boys. Yeah, buddy. Oh, thank you, man. Nice sand. Thanks to Cord as well. It's been that is one badass huge job today. Drop. Standing behind the tree there, I think. <laughs> that is one badass drop right there. Look at that thing. It was monstrous. Well, I thought I thought I could like come to it like slower. Yeah. Well, on the last few tries, I was almost going as fast as I could, and you got that corner. You got like that tree on the right. So it's yeah. like pretty pretty tricky. Because I don't want to like bunny up too much because otherwise the impact is harder. So you better out going fast and and letting yourself fall. Like the sweet spot is still like further left, but you can see I'm pretty consistent because I land on the same spot every time. But no, it's definitely a, it's a tricky one. It's like, I mean, it's what, like 25 to 30 foot depending where I... I think where your tires touch down, that's like a good 30 feet. Yeah. 25 to 30 feet. And not just a ordinary drop that's a technical drop <laughs> hey, you know that'd be a good one in the winter to ski <laughs> yeah there, there's maybe a day or two in the winter time where we get enough snow here yeah i, I don't know if i'll be more comfortable on skis or <laughs> on the bike on that no it's tucked yeah, it's tucked it worked out nice work thank you Anne. thanks Carl. and thanks chris the only man that crashed today is actually the filmer <laughs> Thank you for watching guys, that was a good day for me. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to support my channel, make sure uh, to make a purchase on Jensen USA using one of the links that's in the description that helps me out a lot to make more video and better video. And thanks a lot, see you next time on YouTube.